I'm gonna use my calculator to solve this problem, which is uh, pretty much the only way you'd be able to do it, I think. Um, so, first thing that I really need is a uh, calculator page where I can do this, so get one of those. And I need to define the function, so f of x is set equal to, and then that's gonna be the cosine of, you can see I already have something in um, f of x, but starting over, so it's all right. Plus sine of five x, it says done, so that's f of x now. I can recall that just to check. Um, and now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to solve it a cas way, so that's going to be menu 3, 1, and it's the derivative with respect to x of the function I just defined, so that's f of x. That has to be equal to the average rate of change, so that's f of pi minus f of 1 over pi minus 1 and x and that's going to be between so that's control equals and then go one to the left you get such that and one is less than x is less than pi so we're solving on the open interval I'm going to press uh, control enter to get a decimal I get a warning here which uh, let's see what that is okay so approximate arithmetic has been used you can actually do this on the non cas Inspire as well. If you um, just use nsolve, and uh, gives you that. It doesn't give you a warning. So uh, we got a warning that's a little scary. Uh, maybe a better thing to do is to check on a graph. So what I'll do here is in F1, I'm going to graph the uh, derivative f of x. Uh, it's nuts, but uh, remember, if you remember the problem, we don't actually need all that. So settings, I'm going to change this from 1 to pi. So I'm just going to look on the open interval. So I'm not getting all that extra stuff. So here's my derivative. Uh, press tab. In F2, I'm going to put, um, I'm just going to type this quickly. I'm going to put the average rate of change. This one. And if you look at the picture, it looks like we've got uh, two additional solutions that we did not pick up by using solve. So uh, that should uh, serve as a warning to you in the future. You might want to always take a look at a quick graph. So the intersection here, that's the first one. You can see that it does equal the average rate of change because um, that's what we set up. And uh, do this again. Another intersection. So remember, having cast is not a substitute for having brains, um, which is, I guess, good until calculators get better, in which case, uh, I guess we're done for. And uh, there we have it. We've got three solutions, only one of which was found by the cast, so watch out for that. Um, and the graphing method is uh, really not that bad. Just remember to change your windows so you're only searching on the open interval. And I hope that is helpful.